Marlene Hutchinson, and welcome to Tips for Guitar Playing Success. As many of you know, I've been sharing my guitar playing tips every Thursday for more than eight years. It's been my way to hopefully help you stay motivated, be inspired, and continue expanding your guitar playing journey. If you're interested in more learning resources like my Thursday Tips blog, my DVDs, books, virtual learning, and more, go to my website, marlenesmusic.com. And for anyone who's listening and feels like you're missing out on all the fun, you can easily join our wonderful world of guitar with my Learn to Play Guitar in a Day program, which you can also find at marlenesmusic.com. Now on to today's tip. Today's tip is learn how to play by ear. Has anyone ever asked you to play a song on the spot that you've not played before? Or maybe you've listened to a song and you'd like to start playing it without having to search for the music. In both of these cases, you would want to be able to play your guitar by ear. Playing by ear is defined as playing a musical instrument without the aid of written music. It's a useful skill that can be developed, and here are some tips to help you foster your ability to play by ear. Now, before we start, it's super important for you to know that these tips work best and you'll gain the skill more quickly if you are mindfully and actively listening to the sounds of your guitar without distraction. So it's best if you're doing these four skill building ideas in a quiet location. One, listen for the tone and pitch. To do this, play a chord, for example, the G chord. Notice whether it has a high or low pitch. Also, is the tone loud or bold, or is it more muted? Then try this with another chord. By the way, I recommend that you limit yourself to three or four chords in a session. By minimizing the chord volume per session, you're allowing your brain to absorb the sounds more fully. Number two, hum a chord. I can't tell you how many times I've figured out how to play a song simply by humming and then matching a chord sound. So what I want you to do is to strum a chord and then hum the sound of that chord. You'll gain a better understanding of how you hear the chord by replicating the sound with your own voice. A little helpful hint, you may want to record yourself because it will go a long way to helping you understand how you're interpreting the sound and how to emulate the sound more closely. Now I'll talk about the next two play-by-ear ideas in just a moment. But first, quick show break. Join the podcast club today. If you like this podcast and are gaining valuable insights, tips, hints, and advice, then why not show the guitar love by joining the club? It's really super simple to become a member. Just go to the Join the Club link in the show notes or on my website, marlenesmusic.com. Now on to idea number three. Compare one chord to another. For example, G and C. Is one sound higher or lower? What is the change in sound when you go back and forth from one chord to another? Do they sound natural together or do they sound like they don't belong together? Beginning to understand the relationship that chords have with one another will go a long way to developing your ear. Which leads me to idea number four. Learn chord progressions, like three chord progressions such as G, C, and D, or A, D, and E. And if you need a chord progression refresher, go to my Learn, Play, and Master Chord Progressions episode on June 18th, 2020. Learning common chord progressions and why specific chords are together in sequence will help you tremendously. 
when you figure out a chord in a song, you can then draw on your progression knowledge to fill in the rest of the tune. For example, if you hummed the song and figured out there's a G chord, then try the rest of the song with progressions that include G, like G, C, and D, or C, F, and G, or D, G, and A. Now, let's play around with these ideas a little bit right now. I want you to hum a song that you've not played before. It should be a super simple song. Now go back to the opening or first note or sound of the song and hum that. Now keep humming that one opening sound and at the same time try to match the sound to a chord. Hint, hint, hint. I suggest that you start with basic chords like G, C, D, A, and E. Once you've matched the sound with a chord, then add the other chords, remembering to use chord progressions or combinations of chords that are frequently used in music. Then you can see where the other chords fit into the song. Keep in mind, you may have to play around a little bit, but then you'll have it figured out. Woohoo! And while you're in a play by ear role, try using your newfound skills to figure out how to play a song that you listen to. It should be a song you really like, but have not played before or seen the music. Listen to the song and then using the same ideas as before, hum and match a chord and then try chord progressions to build out the song from there. Before you know it, you'll be able to play songs sans music. Have no fear, it will be clear that you can play by ear. I hope this episode's tip has helped you to continue expanding your guitar skills and knowledge. If you'd like to learn more, check out the many learning resources available at my website, marlenesmusic.com. Thank you for joining today's podcast. And as I like to say, play on.